In the town of Warhope in northern New South Wales is Timbertown, an interactive colonial experience. We parked our van up for a couple of days in the adjacent camping ground and relaxed with a glass of red wine and a fire and a drum. It was an enjoyable evening and as the sun went down we put a little more timber on the fire. We were camped next to the holding paddocks for Timbertown's four-legged attractions, grazing amongst the tall timbers. After a couple of days of sorting ourselves out, we walked next door to visit the So here we are at Timbertown in Warhope. We're approaching the Cedar Creek Steam Co-op. We have the big water wheel here. Down there is the Cedar Creek's gold field. Is that the same sort of engine as Fridge had? So what is it? Tim's mate has one of these. Fridge, AKA Dan Martin. The fridge is as bigger and um, certainly much cleaner. He uses his as a stationary engine for running belts to run saws or when we were there to cook pizzas in. The sky is clearing and looks beautiful. Here we'll take you for, we're not going on the train now, but we can take you for a bit of a look at the train now. You do everything here, Dave. Oh, no, not everything, but you've got to do what's got to be done. Plenty of, plenty of good guys here. Everyone's doing their bit. So do you drive the train? Yes. Oh, that's fun. Drive the train. We're in circles all day. Ah, uh, okay. It's a two foot gauge locomotive. Right, ex yep. sugar cane. So it hauled sugar cane for 50 years. But um, yeah, based on a two foot gauge or 610 yeah, millimetre yeah. track. Yep. But, uh, this particular locomotive is 99 years of age this year. Okay. Okay. Nearly as old as my husband. Here you go, mate. Excellent. Yeah, come back up. Yay. Is it Perry? No, this one's a John Fowler. <laughs> yeah, we have got a Perry, but it's not here yet. It's still sitting down at uh, by down near Leeton. <laughs> and uh, June E, actually. <laughs> No. Have a donation box here for preserving what they have here. Oh, here we have a John Fowler 042. Now, my understanding is that zero wheels at the back, four in the middle, two at the front, I think. Um, manufactured by John Fowler Leeds, West Yorkshire, England. 16 tonne this loco is, so. Not a lightweight. He's inside the driver's cab. Gauges and stuff. Here we are at the Wattles Cottage. So, here 
is the Wattles Cottage. Apparently a drop slab cottage, whatever that means. Set up as a bedroom. Complete with electric lights with eco friendly globes. Have the wash basin in the bedroom. Then over here we have the dining room. The doors were much bigger than our doors nowadays, which are, I think from memory about 800 wide. These are probably more than a metre. And then we have the, what we would now call the lounge room or the living room. We've got the old organ in the corner over there for entertainment. The fancy adornment bureau and a chaise lounge. Coming back, we have oh, perhaps another bedroom come sewing room. Sorry, my reflection's in there. That might be better if we And that's about the extent of it. Hey, hey Timmy. They're not standard door widths. What's the standard door, 800? How wide do you reckon that is? Over a metre? Mm. Yeah, third, a third, a third. And then a third, a third, a third on the other side, and the doorway's another third, so that's two and a third. around the outside of this. Ooh, I just walked over this bit of floor and you can see here maybe oh, that's indented. I stepped on it, I think the floorboards underneath aren't real flash and the covering board isn't real flash. I sort of sunk a bit. So wishing well here out the back. Followed by some ostriches. I'm not sure whether the ostriches are authentic timber town or just recent tourist attraction additions. I'll just have a bit of a look in the wishing well here to see if people do toss coins in or not. And it's filled with water so you can't see. There's another little hut here. I'll go out the front because it's Alice's kitchen. Oh, it's the kitchen for the house, which is separate to the house. And it tells us here about the kitchen. So the whole family lived in this little hut which is now the kitchen before the house is built. If you want a longer read of that, you'll have to hit pause after you've rewound. And we have some benches in the side, a table, Considering everyone lived in here and the floor is very uneven. 
not sure where they slipped. A book, a box here, I guess a blanket box. It um, doesn't look so old though. We have the kerosene lamp and some rafters. And the old, that's an old meat safe, isn't it, Tim? The old meat yeah. safe. What was the purpose of the old meat safe? Was that just to keep flies off, the, off meat? Uh, also to keep the, you catch a bit of breeze through there, keep it a bit cooler. And I think they used to hang hessian bags over the top. Wet hessian bags, around. yeah, to keep the meat cold. Yeah, so it didn't well, go off. Colder. Cold, well, cooler, try and keep it cool. Presumably the uh, seating of the day, the old kettle, and the kitchen, what was used for keeping warm and also for cooking. And we'll just have a quick look, closer look at the ostriches while we're here. Long necks, longer than an emu, and ostriches taller than an emu, but still flightless. Gawky looking as they walk. They're all gonna come over and say hello, maybe. And here we have the Australian native ostrich. A little bit of a wave around there. Just checking to see if I've got a sandwich. Yeah, I'm not really interested. Put my head under the wing. We have Lakeview Cottage, followed by the Timber Town Gazette, the printers and publishers of the town. You can see if we're responsible of the newspaper, which appeared to be published every Thursday for three. What is 3D? Is D a pence? It's not a, net, it's not a shilling, what's 3D? I wasn't around. Decimal currency came in just after I came in. Um, Campbell and Bain were the proprietors. The old picture show. I might have a quick look at this. I now have a digital TV. Roof is in need of a bit of repair, but you can see the roofs were made out of hessian. shopping centre. Yeah, it looks like it might be the barbers. Here's a kitchen of some sort. We'll have a look over there shortly, but the middle one's the cobbler, the green one. This is a restaurant. Welcome to the Mail Wedge restaurant. We've got a group of school kids in here today. Buggy up the top. That's okay. Come over the other side. The barber pole.
the settler. The um, tradesman of the day, you know, with compared to the tools that are available nowadays, you know, it's really, really great. You know, how do they get things so precise without today's technology and machinery? But they managed. So, so I'm guessing that's some sort of sewing machine, perhaps. But I don't know. That's a saddler. We'll have a look at the cobbler. There's one more building here. Not sure what this one is. Must be at the other door. stuff, anvils, milling machines, I think. The predecessor to today's chainsaw. Not sure whether you can really see that. Probably it'll be better if I do a pretty big blade. Hundred years of clothes picks. That there looks like a clothes ringer. Uh, maybe not. Maybe it's some tool for rolling metal or something. I don't know. Although there's a meat mixer next to it, and I suspect some sort of old beaters. A couple more meat mixes, sewing machines. Some pots. Another chainsaw. Old style prams. Probably everyone's favourite shop, the confectioners and ice cream, eh? Looks a bit more modern. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good. I'll have a look in here later.
Timbertown wine and old buggies. There's another old buggy, steam buggy up there. Oh, I reckon that's where Timmy will be. You're, you're missing the opening of the steam thing. Oh, well, they don't want to miss that, do we? No. I don't care, but he wanted to see it. <laughs> no, you're missing the polishing of the bottles, but anyway. Yeah. We'll come back for that. Yeah, we'll come back. Yeah, that's good. Ah, this is why all the wagons are here. This is where the wagon rides go from, the livery stables. And the horses. Ah, oh, you were the ones that were out in our paddock last night with the camels. I'll show you them later. And all the livery. Carrier and blacksmiths will come back here later. There's a heap of people in there. Bygone days. That one in there has a heap of old saw blades. This is you know, old stuff from beds, dresses, furniture. Over here, we have a wind up gramophone. Lounge chairs, with an organ or pianola, as the case may be. Dining areas. We have the fire station. It's push bikes in it. I guess that was the fire cart. Didn't carry a lot of water, but they did have a hose. An old train carriage over there and some donkeys. Over there in the paddock, I guess we'll come back to them. Here we have the telegraph office. I'm going for a bit of a closer look. Three glass might not be very good. And here we have the jail house. And there is a wanted sign. So I guess that's where they had the wanted posters. Not sure whether we can get a better look. Hmm. Don't know that I would, a heritage bed. Don't know that I'd want to be locked up in here for too long, particularly at the moment with the roof. But 
Had the horseshoe up. To me, it's the most interesting thing that Timber Town, other than the train, Timber Town steam sawmilling and logging company. It's fired up for the day. That'd be the mill operator. Water pump. The chooks and the turkey ready for Christmas. The ramp to get the logs up there. And here we are at the school. We've got all the sorts of things cleaning with bolts and wheels. Very impressive. What are they do actually doing? Yes, not very much really, but they're going around. They're exhibiting. They're exhibiting the power of steam. Looks like some sort of pump, is it that one? Yeah. Walk up here because so we can go in there. And so this is where it's working, turning around, going up and down. And they don't have horsepower here, they have llama power. I think it's a llama and not an alpaca, it's a bit woolly. Oh, cutting through the timber. Yeah, it's a small blade. How long does it take to cut through this? Not long. Here we have saw blades on the actual cutting floor. So we have to go and turn them. And here is the main saw bench. The belt which drives the main saw bench is twisted. It's twisted like and works like a Mobius strip so that in an effort so that both sides of the belt wear evenly so both sides are used on the steel wheels. Interesting arrangement of the main building and storing power of the saw bench. And the engine sucking away there. Turning the flywheel and the broken. The little engine has been driven driving the saw mill because the big engine is just too heavy on the floor. All little bits and bobs flying round and round and connecting to move it like a game of mouse trap really. <laughs> Mostly. This is Timber Town's Bower.
timber town. And here we are at the timber mill, saw milling and logging company. It's a good shed. Bit of a traction engine happening there. Another engine.
не спонтанно, а вроде как всегда дорого. Angus the quad style? Yes. And the camels. And the donkeys. No workers' cottages. A couple of donkeys. The engine shed. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Angus. <laughs>
down a bit of a hill here. I'm going to put on the brakes. It'll get a bit loud, all right? Okay. shop at the moment there's a bunch of school kids in here so the blacksmith is putting on a bit of a show for the kids You went to a Catholic school, didn't you? No, no, Church of England. Oh, okay, so. right. They had a leather strap. Yep. Where did they get you? They, the, they put no. nails through it, though. Really? No, no. <laughs> 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 Sharpening um, razor. Yeah, right, a uh, strop. Yeah. Uh, Do you know what? Yeah. Have you ever made any metal strops? Um, no, but look, um, I'll make whatever you want as long as you pay me. I'm up for it. Little frogs. Alright, but look, let's bend Snakey's head around. Yeah, what's your question, mate? On YouTube, I've seen this person. Oh, wait, wait, what? On YouTube, this person full wood and literal frog. A frog? And metal. And how much did you have to pay for it? Nothing. Nothing? Well, why would you do it if you're going to give it away? You can give it away. Why would you do that? Do you, know, do you know where I learned to be a blacksmith? He forged it. Hang on, mate. Mate, mate, mate stop. Do you know where I learned to be a blacksmith? Yeah, where? With the railways. Right? This is my job. I don't I don't swing that hammer for free. I don't give things away. I don't do anything. When people say, oh, do you want to come for a play date? I said, yeah, how much are you going to pay me? That's what I do. This is my job. Wait, is it hot? Is it hot? Of course. Is it hot? Of course it's hot. Yeah, of course I've it's touched hot. that. Right, but look, we'll paint you. Right, it's still steamy. Right, we're going to bend love heart in the middle. We're going to use the old eye chromator to measure the middle. Right, so we'll get him there. Right, light chromator. So, you, do you watch Forged in Fire, mate? No. You don't, I'm not allowed to watch it because I yell at the TV. My wife gets cranky with me. Because I tell them, I can see all the mistakes they make. So that's why I'm allowed to watch it. Because you're better than that. No, stop it, Blacks. This is my trade. Yes? Um, do you accidentally drop things sometimes? Yes, everybody drops things. Like, do I catch it with my hands? No, I don't. Well, Alright, now we're going to paint you. We're going to pass them around. Alright, so I'll put them placed in the water tub at the same time. How long do you think I should cool them down for? Uh, Two seconds. Two? A minute. Fifteen seconds. Fifteen seconds. Two, two, one. Two, three. One. Two, three. 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 Two, I have yeah. kid cobra steaks with your name on it. What about me? Oh, yeah. Okay. I think I'll give you a piece of gold. No, I don't want gold. I want cold, cold hard cash. Cold hard? Right? Is that guess what? what I do with that money? What? I give it to the boss. Guess what, what he does on Friday? He pays me. Oh, do we have the money back? No. <laughs> right, this king cobra steak is a bottle opener. I put names on it. Right, pass it around. Is that why his head looks like a bat? Right. Yeah, well, that's what it looks How like. Now, yeah, come on, ask me some questions. If you want one, you need to order and pick it up later. Yeah, I do that. I'm going to be doing that in a day. 
Yeah, yeah right before you go, you come pick it up with your name on it, right? Right, have you got any blacksmithing questions? Do you want to, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you that the hut, the question somebody asked me and you thought it would be a really hard question, you asked, you asked me, is austenetic stainless steel magnetic or non-magnetic at 900 degrees Celsius? It's magnetic. And do you know what? When I was the first year apprentice, we forged stainless steel at tape. And we put the magnet in to say, right, see boys, non-magnetic, put it in the fire and bring it out. Fridges. The fridge is the time used to be able to tell a piece of steel. Yep. Put a magnet on it. Yep. You take them on the fridge. No, no, because they're making they're making uh, ferritic. Ferritic. Well that's what the same as steel. Right. Um, it's when it's ostinet. Os 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 so yeah, I'm a blacksmith, so I've got to know a bit of heat treat. So you've got ostinite, martensite, and ferrite. They're three different stages. But we don't work all the same as you. Right, if you want something, if you want something. Here's the school and the school bell. Time for class. You ring the bell and the kids come running. The villagers are raiding. I mean, the villagers. Simply, you just take a few old oil cans and a bit of sheet steel and pretend like you've never ever seen a steam engine before in your life and build one straight off. Amazing. And what does it end up like? Uh, I don't know, but you paint it pink because Can I go on the mini train? that's the sort of colour you paint it for it deserves. Not only that, you paint a face on the front because then it could be Thomas. It's scary. That is not a comet train. And some old cars. And what's the red thing? Is that a trolley railway working thingy? Yeah, hand thingy, hand car. That's it. A Buick up the back there. A Morris. Some lovely restored cars and engines in here. Another little Blacksland thing, whatever that is. And a Yanmar marine engine. It's another car over there in the corner. I can't make out what it is though, and I can't read a sign. There is a sign, but I can't make it out. 